Hello and welcome to Chickabilla. Okay, Simon, I've got my drum. And VJ, I've got my tambourine. So, where's Tamba? Ah, well, Tamba is choosing something from the music box. Ah, so what are we going to do with our musical instruments? Well, I thought we could pretend to be a marching band and march all the way around the Tickabilla house. Great idea! Hello, Tamba. Hello, Tamba. Hello. Hello. Have you chosen your musical instrument? No. Oh, Tamba, what's the matter? Have you lost something? No. Uh, have you broken something? No. Have you hurt yourself? Yes. I trapped my finger in the music box. Oh, oh dear, Tamba. Well, you're being very brave. Uh, I tell you what, why don't we go and sit on the sofa and I'll have a closer look at it for you. <laughs> VJ, will you go and get the first aid box? Don't worry, I don't think it's serious. Right, the first aid box. I know it's just over here. There, got it. Now this is where we keep the plasters and bandages in case anyone hurts themselves. Right, I think I need to do something to cheer Tamba up. Hmm. There we are, Tamba. Now, well, let's have a closer look. Which finger hurts? This one. Is it this one? Mm. Oh, well, the good news is it's not bleeding at all, so that's really good. Mm. And um, can you wiggle it for me? Little oh, bit. very good. There. Nino, Nino, Nino. Dr Vija here, and you must be my next patient. Right, let's take a look what's going on inside. Bump, tiddy bump, <laughs> bump, tiddy bump. Oh, well, that sounds fine. And let's take a look inside your mouth, Tamba. Now, if you could open wide and say, ah. Ah. Hmm, very interesting. Now, can you say tickabilla, tockabilla, tickabilla, tock? Great, that sounds very good. Now, let's have a look at that finger. Hmm, a little bit closer. Ah, yes. Ah, great! Well, the good news is, Tamba, your finger is absolutely fine. VJ, oh, yes. I mean, Dr VJ, can I have a plaster, please? Will that stop it hurting? Yes. OK, then. Well, let's give your finger a wipe first to make sure it's clean. And then you can choose a plaster. Now, what colour would you like? Um, have you got a tamba colour plaster? Right, a purple plaster. Ah, yes, here we go. Now, if you could hold very still. There. Is that better? Yes, <laughs> thank you. Good. Oh, I don't think my patient is completely better, Simon. I need a big smile from my patient. A big, stretchy smile. Ah, right. One big, stretchy smile coming up. Tickly, 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 tickly. <laughs> Thanks for the plaster, VJ. That's all right. That's funny, you pretending to be a doctor. <laughs> Would you like to be a doctor, Tamba? Yes. Oh, what about a chef? Oh. What about a builder? Or a farmer? Hey, I know. Why don't we pretend to do lots of different jobs? Working, working, everybody's working. Helping the world go round. Mending, fixing, stirring up and mixing. Oh, what a beautiful sound. If you could choose your favourite job, what job would it be? Working, working, everybody's working. Come on and work with me. Right, what job can I be first? Be a farmer and work in the field all day. Slosh around in your welly boots and gather up the hay. Be a farmer and grow all the food we eat. Milk the cows and feed the pigs. Being a farmer is really neat. I just love being a farmer. Working, working, everybody's working, helping the world go round. Working, working, everybody's working, what job have we found? So, Tamba, how is that finger doing? Be a doctor. 
and put on your big white coat Give us pills to cure our ills and wear a stethoscope Be a doctor and tend to everyone Help the old and help the young Being a doctor is so much fun Now open your mouth wide and say ah Working, working, everybody's working, helping the world go round. Working, working, everybody's working, what job have we found? There you are, BJ. Thank you, Simon. Be a chef and wear a big tall hat. Stir around a sloppy mix and listen to it spat. Be a chef. Make jelly and ice cream Always cook the things you like To be a chef would be my dream Mmm, mm, tasty! Working, working, everybody's working Helping the world go round Working, working, everybody's working What job have we found? Right, builders next. Let's be builders. Making homes for you. Mixing concrete, hammering nails, driving diggers too. Let's be builders. And using clever tools. Watch the towns and cities grow. Being a builder is really cool. We're working, working. working. <laughs> Help! <laughs> See, all this working has made me feel quite tired. Oh, so do I. <laughs> ah, now there's someone else working through one of the windows today. Zana is pretending to be a chef with her dad. Should we have a look? Come on. How many windows? One, two, three. Round, square, or arched? Which one will it be? It's the square window. Okay, let's go. Up you go. And I've got a little surprise for you today. Whoa! Yeah. Here we go. Oh. Yo! You are my little chef for today. And what are we gonna make today? Louder. Samosas. Yes. And which samosas are we going to make? Spicy samosas. Whoa, not very spicy. But what's going to be in there? Carrot, corn, chicken, corn. Wow, chicken. Please. Okay, you got to make chicken samosas. So shall we start then? Yes. Will you help me? Yeah. Okay, I need some oil in the pan. Okay, where's some oil okay. though? You pour that for me inside. Yes. Pick that up and pour some oil in. That's it. Whoa, that's good enough. Thank you. You're welcome. And now, when the oil's hot, we're going to put in some bay leaves. You want to pass the bay leaves to me? Thank you. You're welcome. Shall we put, how many should we put? Two? Three. Three! Whoa, okay. Then one. In go the bay leaves. How about some cinnamon? Six? One, maybe. Two, maybe two. one. You sure? Two. Shall I break this into yeah. two? Yeah. You got two now. Uh, you splashed it at the pan! <laughs> Silly Billy Tattoo! Good for you. Can you put that back for me? You give that a good stir. See that? Nice and yellow, just the color you love, don't you? The mousse is my tummy. Now the chicken mince. Give me the chicken mince. Can I have it? Okay. It looks like lychee. Can you help me stir a bit? Yeah. Just a little bit. Hold on there. That's it. You got to break it up. Break all of it up, and we're all done. Here 
There we go. That's the mixture for your samosas. Yummy. What should we do now? Now we're going to fill it into the pastry. Pastry, pastry, come along. Mixture. You go. Now we're going to fold that pastry. Got what shape are we going to make out of it? I'm a triangle. Yeah, that's a little pouch over there. And shall we fill in some yes, more? Yes, I will fill it with Okay, two. go on. Put in some more. Take some mixture. Hold it in your hands and can you put it in? Can I have some more? Not that. We keep the cinnamon on the side. Why? Because we don't want to eat the cinnamon. The cinnamon's only for flavor. Some more, please. Lots of it. Are you putting some corn in as well? Yeah, but I love corn. Yeah. Here we go. And then, what do we do again? Fold it. Fold it. Should we do one more fold? Yeah. And you put some egg on that for me. Okay. Put some egg on that. Some more, please. Good girl. And we turn it around. Whoops, we got ourselves another one. Look at what I got for you! Yeah. Woo! What's that, Zana? Can I serve you one? What's yeah. that, Zana? Samosas! And who made them? Dad! And? One more! Yeah, one for Mum! Alright. Take a bite. All that delicious food has made me feel really hungry. Yes, me too. Well, let's see what we've got in here. Aha! Uh -huh. This is a pie. It's a special pie. It's a Christmas pie. Now, can you think of a rhyme with a Christmas pie in? Can you? Well, if you do, you could join in. Ready? Little, Little Jack, Jack Horner, Horner sat, sat in a corner, corner eating, eating his Christmas pie. pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, What a good boy am I! <laughs> Did you join in? Delicious. What else is in there, Simon? Let's have a look. Oh, this is a cake. It's a very special cake. It's a patter cake. Is there any chance you know a rhyme about a patter cake? If you do, join in. Ready? Patter cake, patter cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with B. Put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> Did you join in? That's better. Lots of scrummy food. Now, Tamba, you know your rhymes, don't you? Yeah. Oh. Well, that sounds like the clock. That's another rhyme you can join in with. Ready? Tickabilla, tockabilla. Tickabilla, tock. What's the time on the tickabilla clock? Well, the long hand is pointing towards the number 12. Do you know what that means? That means it's something o'clock. And the short hand is pointing towards the number Two. So the clock says it's two o'clock. But what's underneath the clock? <laughs> it's a frog. It's a purple frog. And I'm going to tell today's story. It's called Plummet. Plummet had a smile once. It was a big, happy, stretchy sort of smile. But then he lost it. Plummet was a flying frog. Flying frogs don't sit on lily pads all day, like some frogs. Flying frogs climb to the tops of trees and jump off. All except Plummet, that is. Plummet had lost his smile because he couldn't fly. 
One day, when he was not looking where he was hopping, Plummet bumped into another flying frog. Sorry, he said, and turned to move away. Don't go, said the little frog, smiling. My name is Bebop. I'm going to climb up my special mimosa tree and then fly down. Do you want to come with me? No, thanks, said Plummet miserably. I'm going to look at that stone over there. He pointed to a stone lying at the edge of the lily pond. Plummet would have liked to play with Bebop. She was nice, but he was scared to tell her that he couldn't fly. Oh, poor Plummet. You must be really clever, said Bebop. I'm playing in trees while you have an important stone to look at. That made Plummet feel bad. He didn't like telling fibs. Being a flying frog who couldn't fly was awful. Plummet thought of all the times he had tried to fly. He had tried very hard. He had tried running fast and flapping his arms up and down. He had tried wearing a Captain Superfrog costume. He had bought himself an old flying helmet and jacket. He had made himself wings from bird's feathers. Nothing worked. Whatever Plummet tried, he always ended up in a heap on the ground. But now, here was Bebop. When she said, Grabbit, gribbit, crack, crack, pip, Plummet thought he had never heard anything so nice. She spoke froglish, of course. You have a nice voice, he said. But he knew she could never be his friend. He was a flying frog who couldn't fly. Plummet's face went pink with shame. Oh, I can't fly, he said in a rush. I can't be your friend. Oh, now I know why you look so sad, said Bebop. I've never told anyone before, said Plummet. I've tried and tried, but all I can do is sort of glide. Bebop knew something that Plummet did not. I wonder what it could be. Come with me, Plummet, she said. I want to show you something. Bebop took Plummet by the hand and led him into the forest. They followed a shady path through tall, dark trees. Until suddenly... <gasps> The trees opened into a beautiful, sunny space filled with thousands of flowers. A magical place. Look up, said Bebop softly. Plummet looked up. yee From high in a tree, a frog threw himself into the air. He spread out his hands and feet and glided gently to the other side of the clearing. <sighs> That's what I do, sighed Plummet. That's what we all do, Bebop smiled at him. You don't fly, Plummet said. We don't fly. It's just a name, Plummet. Someone must have seen us gliding and thought we were flying. So they called us Flying Frogs. Come on, it's great fun. Plummet started climbing. It was easily the best day of his life. He had a new friend and something happy and stretchy was spreading slowly over his face. Plummet's smile was back. <laughs> that story's made me smile too. Ah, the windows. And Simon is with some other animals down at the farm. How many windows? One, two, three. Round, square or arched, which one will it be? It's the round window. If you're in the mood for horsing around, try a little mooing and some cock-a-doodle-doing. See all the sights 
and hear all the sounds down on the farm with Simon. <laughs> there are lots of animals on the farm, aren't there? <laughs> lots of noisy animals too. But do you know what these animals' babies look like? Let's have a look. Now, this is a pygmy goat, and she looks like she's about to have a baby. I wonder what the baby would look like. The baby might look like this, as these pygmy goats are a few weeks old. They've got the same colouring as their mum, haven't they? And their eyes are the same as their mum. And on top of their heads, they've got two tiny little horns. Baby goats are called kids. Now this is Belle. Well, what do you think Belle's baby would look like? Well, here is young Eastern Spring. And it's Belle's foal. And Belle's mane is very long. Long hair on the back of her neck. And Eastern Spring's mane is very tufty. And Eastern Spring is the same colouring as Belle, but her coat is a lot softer. It's OK. Hello. Are you hungry too? And here are some baby rabbits. Lots of them and lots of different colours too. There's black ones and black and white ones and grey ones and brown ones. And they've all got big long ears just like their mums and dads. Have you noticed that the baby rabbits and the mummy and daddy rabbits are always twitching their noses? Like that. <laughs> Can you twitch your nose? Baby rabbits are called kittens, just like baby cats. Now this is the pink and black mummy pig. Well, what colour do you think her babies would be? Pink and black. Pink and black piglets. Can you name these baby animals? Chicks. Piglets. Kids. Kittens. Ducklings. I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a piglet across the way. And what do you think I heard it say? Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a kid across the way. And what do you think I heard it say? Meh, meh, meh. <laughs> Let's take a look over there. I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a foal across the way. And what do you think I heard it say? Nay! 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 What are you doing, VJ? <laughs> You're making a lot of noise. I'm pretending to be a baby horse, a foal. Nay! Ah, oh, I want to pretend to be a baby animal. I'm going to be a piglet. Squeak, 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 squeak. What a lot of noise. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretending to be baby animals. Oh, right. Uh, well, I'm going to pretend to be a baby goat, a kid. Nay! 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 That's funny! I like making lots of noise. <laughs> well, you can make some more noise if you like. Ah, oh, can we? Well, why don't we sing a noisy song? And that way we can bash and then we can crash! Yeah, let's! <laughs> when life is rather quiet, there's nothing much to do. When no one is about Apart, of course, from you There's nothing that is better 
More fun for girls and boys than to let out all your feelings and make a lot of noise. You can dash, you can crash, you can bang and you can play. You can ding, you can ding, you can even ding a ling. You can crash, you can bash, you can bang and you can clang. You can ding, you can ding, you can even ding a ling. What can you do if nothing can be found? If nothing's lying round your room that makes a noisy sound, there's always something that you've got that makes a special noise. You have it always with you. It's something called your. You can scream, you can shout, you can screech and jump about. You can speak and you can talk, you can squeak and you can squawk. You can scream, you can shout, you can screech and jump about. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> You've made some special sounds. Some people call a din. You've let your noisy feelings out. They're better out than in. There's one more thing you've got to do. It's really for the best. I'm sure you know what that thing is. It's time to take a rest. <laughs> I think I need a rest now. Oh, maybe you could make lots of noise. Oh, Simon, VJ, my finger is feeling much better now. Look, it can bash, it can crash. Great, <laughs> so I can take the plaster off. Oh, no. Oh. Can I keep it on while I'm asleep? Of <laughs> course you can, Tamba. And we'll see you next time on Tickabilla. Bye-bye. Bye. Tickabilla, Tickabilla, Bum, for you and me.